If you put sea urchin in water, tentacles come out. What is this? Vicious science. Let's do the sea urchin's anatomy. Sea urchins are echinoderms like starfish, and many species of echinoderms have spiny skin. Sea urchins have exceptionally developed spines among echinoderms. This is the sea urchin we will observe today. This video is better if you watch it in comparison with the starfish video. The reason is that the sea urchin's body structure is similar to that of a starfish. Let's see what starfish and sea urchins have in common. Starfish have tentacle-like tube feet along five ambilateral zones on the underside. Sea urchins are thought to have only spines, but they also have tube feet along the five lobes like starfish. If you put a sea urchin in water, you can see tentacle-like tube feet coming out. Pretty long, isn't it? Sea urchins have muscles under their spines, so they can move the spines too. They move their bodies using both tube feet and spines. Sea urchins move slowly, but faster than starfish. And like starfish, sea urchins have a mouth and anus located at the bottom and top of the body. First, you can see five teeth in the mouth of the sea urchin. If you zoom in their teeth, you can see how they look. Sea urchins feed on seaweed with these teeth. That's why they are often found near the seaweed. Anus is at the top of the body, and they have many other holes around it. There are five gynopores, which are the holes where they release the sperm and eggs. And there is also a hole called a madreporite. Sea water enters the sea urchin through this madreporite, and the water passes through the ring canal and the radial canal inside the sea urchin, and continues to flow to reach the tube feet. So, the inside of the tube feet is full of seawater. And most sea urchins have five point radial symmetry in their body structure. However, it is hard to see the exact five radial symmetry structure of sea urchin. But, you can check five radially symmetrical structure by looking at the inside of the sea urchin. Now, let's dissect the sea urchin. The spines of sea urchins are hard and sharp, so be careful. First, cut and remove the soft tissue around the mouth. If you cut the side a little bit and cut it in half, you can see the inside like this. If you remove the sea urchin's intestines and food, this form will appear. This yellow colored part is called sea urchin roe and is often used as a food ingredient. These are the gonads of sea urchins. They have five gonads. And between the gonads, you can also see five AM, the alacral zones from which two feet come out. Sea urchins also had five teeth. Sea urchins really do have five radially symmetric body structures. The digestive system of sea urchins extends from the mouth to the anus. And if you look inside the part where the mouth is located, you can find a very strange structure. This is the unique masticatory apparatus of sea urchins, called Aristotle's lantern. If you take a part and dissect the part of Aristotle's lantern, you can see that this area is a structure where teeth and flat ossicles are connected. Five ossicles came together to form the shape of a lantern. And if you look at the lower part here, there are muscles that control the movement of the ossicle. Sea urchins use masticatory apparatus to move their teeth to gnaw prey such as algae. The origin of the name Aristotle's lantern is called because Aristotle dissected a sea urchin and described it as similar to a lantern. Lastly, if you look at the nervous system of sea urchins, you can find that they do not have brains like starfish, but only have nerve rings and radial nerves. This is the end of the sea urchin's anatomy. The gonads of sea urchins are used as high end disease ingredients. I tried it once, and it was so delicious. I can't be the only one who tasted this. I thoroughly boiled sea urchin gonads. Sebastian will love it, I guess. <clears throat> nope, he doesn't seem to like seafood.